Hey, it's Ethan here with eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Kuat Class 4 V2 kayak carrier and how it fits on our 2022 Lincoln Navigator. This is a really nice option for you if you want to get one kayak up to 75 pounds where you want it to go, but you want it to stay low profile and look nice at the same time. Let's check out how it works. This is a J style carrier, which does have that J shape, which is going to hold the kayak and the cradles and support it on the back side. The carrier does also come with four straps, two for the center and our bow and stern straps, with, which work very similarly. You might have to pick up a couple of dog bone adapters in order to fit those straps and where you need them to go. Check out a little bit about how those work. First, we'll have to get under the hood, which I've already released, so we'll pop that up and we'll let you take a closer look at these adapters. So this is how they get that shape. They kind of look like a dog bone. They just fit inside and they anchor to wherever you want them to be. Keeping in mind that there are places under your hood where you're obviously not gonna want something like this. So make sure you find a nice safe place that's not going to damage anything in the engine. But we can pop those out very easily. And then you might have to open the door to come to the very top. On these and the center straps, you do have cam buckles as well as a nice hook and loop that goes around but the center ones have a nice protective padding around here which protects the kayak and we'll get to those in just a second but this comes out the same way you'll just feed it around and you might have to take the actual straps out of the cam buckles if you don't have enough room with all that leftover slack but if you do have enough room you can just fit it through and pull it out. It's a good amount of slack, which is nice for larger vehicles if you need it, but it can get in the way sometimes if you don't. Coming to the back now, we have a very similar setup. Again, using that dog bone adapter to find a place in our trunk to keep it nice and secure. Also, you can see that there is this protective coating. So when it was all the way down, when it's up against the car, it will protect the vehicle from scratching or maybe getting a little bit of that paint off while you're driving. If the strap rubs up against it for a long time, I could see it wearing that down a little bit. So again, we'll just pop this adapter out and we'll find a way to come up to the top and release all this excess and pull it through. Again, you could undo the cam buckle and pull that through if you want to. I just find that that kind of adds an extra step. So if you can find a way to get all the excess through up at the top without doing that, you might save yourself a little bit of time and a little headache. Taking a closer look at the straps in the center, we can actually undo the hook and loop, We're going to have to in this case, and let that excess out, which will pull through. But first I wanna point out those buckles that I mentioned. You can see here that rubber padding. So you can kind of want to set your straps up, accommodate it so that they're not making contact. But if you do, end up making contact, they won't damage your kayak while you're moving. And we can just pull this through, just like that. Get them out from underneath the carrier and pull the excess all the way over the top. And we'll repeat this process for the other strap. And then we can pull the remaining strap through the back side and off and now we can get our kayak removed. Now we come to the really exciting part. There are a few ways that you can go about doing this if you want. There is a nice place for you to rest the kayak if you can. If you need that, that's a nice thing that it's there. I recommend if you have an extra set of hands, definitely use them. I sort of just try to tilt it forward and let gravity do some of the work for me. So I'll do that now. Just rest the kayak towards the backside, pull the top down and catch it. Now with the kayak removed, we can take a closer look at the carrier. Here at the front is where that ramp is that helps with loading and unloading if you have the ability to use it. The cradle itself has this nice rubberized padding in the middle and it's got grooves which will not only protect the kayak while it's driving but it'll keep it nice and secure. Up at the top is one of the things that sets this apart. If you can see it, there is a little gap for you to fit your straps through which allows them to be held up at the top compared to some other cradles You'll put the straps through and then they'll fall down to the back so you kind of have to work back and forth to get them back up to the top and over your kayak which can be definitely a little bit tricky down on the other side you can see here this is a lever that you need if you want to close 
the carrier up. And in this state, it's really low profile and it'll cut down on some of that wind noise that a lot of carriers can't really counteract. We'll get a couple measurements so you can get an idea of how much height you're gonna be adding in the folded down position as well as when it's all the way up. So in the folded down position from the top of our crossbars to the top of the actual carrier, it's coming in at just about four and a quarter inches. So it's really low profile. Again, it's not taking up a ton of space. It's all the way up from the top of the crossbars to the top of the carrier. It's closer to 17 inches, so definitely a little bit higher. As you can see on our 59 inch crossbars here, we have them, the front clamp is on the overhang and we have tons of space left on there, which is again, another advantage of the J-Style carrier. It doesn't take up a ton of space, so if you wanna get another one on there, you have plenty of room. Or if you wanna get another rooftop accessory that fits, you can do that as well. We can take a closer look at the clamps now. The installation of this carrier was pretty straightforward and I like the way the clamps work. Basically, you just have this rubberized strip that not only secures itself to the crossbars, but protects the crossbars from being damaged while you're driving and it just snaps back into place. We have them on our arrow crossbars here and they work really well, but they'll work with square, factory, or round crossbars too. On the top, you can see that there is a lock core. There's one on either side. So if you want to secure your carrier to the crossbars, you can. If you don't love the setup, there are also T-Track accessories that come with this carrier, so you can use them in the T-Track slot of your crossbars if you have those available. One other thing I wanted to point out is the fact that these do have different options as far as tilt goes. So it's middle, forward, and back. So that can be nice if you want to accommodate some different kayaks, but we also found that when we were loading it up, when we we're trying to move the kayak back and forth to make sure it was weighted evenly in the middle, it tends to turn those around. So it has a little bit of a benefit, but it can also take away sometimes too. The carrier is really lightweight. It's made of aluminum. In this case, it has a gray powder coat finish, but you also have a black powder coat finish available too, if that fits your aesthetic a little bit better. But overall, the Kuat Class 4 V2 kayak carrier is a really solid option. It looks really nice and it supports a kayak up to 75 pounds, but you have plenty of room to get another one on there if you want. And I really like the way that the clamp system works as well as it has that spot in the top and the bottom for your straps to fit in. It's really nice that those are integrated and I don't have to worry about trying to wrap them around the crossbar, crossbars or around the feet or find a place for it. But if you need something like a kayak carrier that has a little bit more accessibility options for you, if you need help loading and unloading kayaks and you're by yourself a lot, you might want to check out something like the Malone Downloader. It has a load assist system that allows you to wiggle the kayak up a little bit at a time, just making that process a little bit easier. But if you want something that looks really nice, works really well, and folds down to a nice compact position, the Kuat Class 4 V2 is a great option. This was just a look at how it fits and how to get it on our 2022 Lincoln Navigator.